Or a left. I guess we'll put a little bit into back pain. Seems a little stronger. <laughs> oh, the stream went down? Am I... Are we good now? I guess, thankfully, all you guys would have missed is me leveling up grit stuff, but that's annoying. It's just a little blip, too. I wonder what went wrong. Hmm. Figures, I guess. Seems like it's that, that kind of week for me. <laughs> hey, Math Magician. Yeah, we apparently lost connection for a bit. I don't know why. Seems we're back up. Okay. Before we proceed, I'm gonna go refill my drink. <laughs> so, sorry to follow up the stream having to go down and back up with uh, a break, but I'll, I'll be right back. I'll make it quick.
Alright, I'm back. Mass outbreak? <laughs> uh, Tangilla outbreak? Eh, pass. Although, apparently there's also a quillfish outbreak. It's gonna require me to use Sneezler again. I feel like that's very highly likely. Hmm, also, hmm, if I were the devs and kind of trolling, where would I hide her? Maybe on the quests by Lake Verity? Oh, it's an outbreak of the Tangela's evolution. Ah. Uh, eh, still not terribly interested. <laughs> I think I'd want it to be something that uh, I'd want the shiny of, or to, like with the Eevees where I really wanted to have a bunch so that eventually maybe we can manufacture our own Eeveelations. So far, we're not picking up on anything. Uh, I guess another decent place would be Ramenas. Uh, there's also the cliffs around the Heights camp. That might be a place. I guess if nothing else, we'll get a whisper. We can get up here. So I think we should do a thorough scan since we can't actually get up into this area. I guess we could have climbed in from the back too. <laughs> I, I took kind of the most complicated way in. Okay, well, I guess we're not going that way.
Okay, I guess we should be cracking these. Because, like, we're constantly running low well and high in bits. And if they're unguarded, then why not? Good resource nodes, but this really isn't helping us on our quest. Another Alpha Luxray. This game seems to really enjoy its Alpha Luxrays. That's what the third one overall, and I think that's the third one that's guaranteed at that. Okay, well, that side was a bust. Um... Let's see if... Oh, this section's not even gonna have much. Well, I guess it's worth checking, just in case. <laughs> okay, well... Never mind. Okay, so Lake Verity is not what we're looking for. Uh, I guess there's this island here that's just like, whatever. So if we're gonna check Ramana's, we should also check up here. Otherwise, I mean, would she really get lost in the horseshoe plains? <laughs> I guess we we can check back there after if we can't find anything else. But I feel like this is something that the devs would have tried to be a little more trolly with and hide her in some place that's really dumb. <laughs> Instinct is telling me that it's something that would probably involve Sneasler, but since we're we're basically here, and there's no real harm in making sure that she's not on this island. Or the one adjacent to it.
Okay. It's not the islands. So I guess let's go to the heights camp. Um, otherwise, actually, let's see. Assuming this doesn't block us here, we could climb up here and check. Um... I'm not sure how much of these we can scale. So we could try that as well if the heights camp doesn't work out. There is a bunch of rocky stuff here with the heartwood. So that's maybe as well. So let's Let's do all the more complicated areas first. Oh. We got a hit already. Is that an alpha? Now it's stupid drop wounds. I guess they're gonna keep it their big we'll search and rescue, so we're gonna knock him out. Looking for, like, in case there's a crevice or something here that would easily hide her. But it doesn't look like there's enough room up there. Because, like, the way, the way the scent went, I was like, oh, maybe it's underneath this... Like this brick or this bowler right here, so maybe there's a ledge, but um, that doesn't appear to be the case. Oh wait, is she? She she's over here feeding Parises. <laughs> no. Eek! Help! Oh please, I don't want to sprout mushrooms. Wow, where are these super high level Paris come Please just stop critical hitting all the time. Okay, thanks.
Why can't we send out multiple Pokemon at once? That's a good question. Because, like, um... The Diamond Tribe and the Pearl Tribe have sent out multiple Eevees and Evolutions before, um... And then Melly made us fight three Poison Pokemon at the same time, so... I don't know why we feel the need to only send out one Pokemon at a time. It's weird. Because, like, I seem to re remember even, like, Let's Go had, I think, a couple of dual fights where it was just, since it was just you, you got to put out two Pokemon or something like that. So it's really strange that the game is just like, nah, you can't. Because <laughs> we're not cool enough, apparently. <laughs> Thank you! I swear I'd never survive here in his suite without you as a teammate. I came to patrol because I know some of the villagers come out of here to hunt for mushrooms. While keeping an eye out for them, I ended up hunting around a bit myself for some finds. But the mushrooms ended up hunting me. I guess my brother is probably a mess worrying about me again, huh? They're so good at battling, probably even better suited to the security core than I am. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, at least that was less embarrassing, because getting triple teamed is pretty, pretty brutal, honestly. So I, I can't blame her as much for getting cornered there. <laughs> hmm, Sanjum Flats. Um... No, I'm sure, what's... Let's go check it out, see if anything cool spawns for the distortion. Although I'm not really sure we'd be looking for unless unless the game's throwing these spawns into it, because we did get a Sylveon at the uh, Coronet Heights. I suppose there's a Leafeon. I don't think we've gotten a Leafeon yet. We've seen them, just not gotten them. Really, if, I can, if I recall correctly. So I wonder if it's a random timer, or if I'm actually actively helping it here. Because <laughs> with that Coronet one, it transformed so fast when we were hanging out in it. Or I guess maybe it might have to do with area too, maybe more advanced areas. It's, the assumption is that we're ready to deal with it.
But this one seems to be happening awfully slowly. I guess we could go riding around. Actually, not that much of a resource is here. A few nodes, the one tree. Caught one. I guess if it gives us our back, another one, I'll probably catch it. First, taking that apparently just caused all those to spawn. If we hadn't already caught that Sylveon, I might have been a little upset. Man, I feel like this really hasn't updated. <laughs> it's just like Ursa rings all day every day. Onyxes would help with the decks. Not exactly the most exciting find, though.
Phil Land sure loves Ursa Rings now. This doesn't fill the Ursa Ring or finish the Ursa Ring deck, so I'm probably gonna be a little disappointed. Gengar is a juicy find. I guess we'll use a great ball. Really? Dude. You're level 18 with almost no health left. Can you just please get in the ball? was that even? Man, that must have been a real bad string of RNG. <laughs> okay, so we can't... If they're close enough, we can't actually... Alright, I want to see what the Gudra's animations look like. <laughs> Very large Gudra. Oh, Gudra looks kind of depressed. Like, look at that. It's such a sad expression. That's a Gudra. Yes, yeah, sad dragon indeed. So we got mostly rift catches here. Just the uh, the cadaver being a real jerk after a raid. I'm pretty sure we had Paris completed before this. Same with Rapidash. Was Ursa Ring? I guess Ursa Ring was probably completed. Because that's... We would have had 2, 4, 6, 8. Yeah, we would have been well, well over before. Again, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure this is... these points from Gengar are mostly thanks to the battles with, uh, with Charm.
Okay, well, if we want to farm Ruder points, I guess we just use Shelter with it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go talk to Zeke. <laughs> Hopefully Wanda won't get lost the second we walk out the door again. Thank you for saving Wanda yet again. I'm so glad we've got the Survey Corps to rely on. I was chilled to my marrow when I heard my sister was caught up in a Pokemon attack this time. If only she could just get herself assigned to patrolling the village for a while. Nice and safe. You know, I'm really surprised she hasn't been, considering the amount of problems she's had. Like... Why hasn't Silene been like, you know what? <laughs> You're not allowed to go out anymore. She hasn't gotten immediately lost again. <laughs> That's a uh, uh, progress, I suppose. <laughs> Maybe they want her gone? Oof. I mean, considering what the she told me, I guess uh, that kind of aligns, doesn't it? Um, yikes. <laughs> So maybe we can finally do Mischievous. I guess maybe do Ghastly at the same time. So... <laughs> A Ponyta outbreak. Well, I've already got a shiny Ponyta, so I don't think that matters. <laughs> That's funny. Turtwig out breaking the Crimson Mirewinds. Uh, I'm not the hugest Turtwig fan, though, so it's kind of whatever. So let's see. Maybe try the Coast Lens? Although I'm not sure... Well, I guess the area would be relatively easy to check. Because, like, it's basically just a crescent. But I don't think any of the ghosts we've seen have been mischievous. It's been, like, Drifflin and, uh, Desclops. But... I'll take a look and see. Right, I guess a change of scenery again. If not, we'll go back to the Highlands. If that fails, I guess we'll try the Mirelands.
Uh, yes, Driftwood, because that's what everyone wants to see. Oh. Is that an... Yeah, that's an alpha. Uh, maybe we want to catch that. Ghost alphas are always such a pain there, because we can't use full swipe against them. Although I think Death Noir might be tanky enough to eat a snarl and not die. Maybe. What level is it? Because if it's like level 50, it probably won't be that hard to catch. Mmm, 65. That's a little, I don't know, but. A little temporary, I guess. Okay, well, that's not what we were looking for, but it's decent, I guess. Yeah, like, this place is more or less overrun with Drifter. Uh, have we actually... I don't know if we've actually gotten a, a Duskull. We've gotten Dusclops, we've gotten Dusk Noir, but I don't know if we've done Duskull. We switch all of four, so we probably have. So if that doesn't catch, we'll just leave. I guess that could be from battling, but eh. Actually, no, we'd have to have caught one for it to be at that research hole, so we're good. We've already gotten that goal back, like, midway through last session, so we'll just ignore it. Hmm. I want to say they went hiding trees. It definitely doesn't... Doesn't look that way too, and all we're getting is silk brunies. Man, with how many drift wounds there are here, like, how have all the kids not gotten kidnapped? very normal. Fun halfway intended, I suppose. Let's see, Murkrows are definitely nice, so we still have a little bit of time.
space time distortion. Where is that? Wow, all the way up there, huh? Um. I guess we can go check it out. Actually, being down this beach at night, right there in this section, I don't think we have. Cause we're always down, well, mostly down here during the daytime. I guess we've been mobbed by burnt crows a few times. I guess there's islands out at sea that we could check. I feel like that's something we do last because they're really interspersed, like exploration value for them is pretty low. Because we have to travel so much for how much we actually uncover. past the point where we can get nighttime swans anyway. Although there's that one murkrow just stubbornly hanging around. Oh, Vulpexes. Um, yes, please. They'll probably despawn. Yep. <laughs> All right, we got a Volvix. <laughs> Is that an Alpha per ugly? <laughs> I think that's an alpha for ugly.
I think this is one I might just ambush, because, like, Delor has the advantage for weakening it. Perugly is thinking real hard about whether it actually cares about pursuing. <laughs> Okay, using it without Agile. It's hard to say. I guess we should go down and hit the distortion before it runs off on or it disappears on us. We can check the head of the cape afterward, I guess. Although I suppose mm, we'd want to come back at night anyway. Uh, it's, it's, I guess it's good as an excuse as ever to go check out that section and then come back later. Man, we're gonna lose half the distortion just scaling the cliffs, uh. So these were makes it a lot nicer to deal with the section. I'm not gonna lie. Carnivine. Oh, there's a bait for him though. Uh, too bad we probably won't actually get to catch it. Time we're done dealing with this, the Vaporeon's probably getting to despawn. Man, why do these trash ones always have to get so much in the way? That's one that's definitely out of place in town, I guess.
habitual set of spawns. Come on, carnivines. <laughs> like, not just one, but multiple. I think that's that's a pip up over there, isn't it? We didn't cover the distortion, but we got something new and relatively rare. Hmm, I wonder how I didn't notice it before. Maybe it was... I was probably being chased by those toxic groups. Or maybe I scared it off when I was running for my toxic cracks. Either or. So last time we didn't get this employee on, let's see if we can do it this time. Uh, we if we were to try to ambush it with Telwar, we'd sort of have okay odds. Uh, I know employee would have likely have at least one Nice move though, which would be really bad. Okay, sure. <laughs> Gigaton balls for the win.
Ooh, a water stone. Well, we can make our own Vaporeon now. <laughs> Suddenly it went all quiet. Uh, the game is like, you shouldn't be here at Turnback Cave. <laughs> that that's quite the animation. I, I mean, I guess Sneasel doesn't like crevices. Oh, hey, we can climb pillars too. That's so silly. Check every pillar because there could be a you know. But I feel kind of ripped off. I guess this is probably like a post game area. Still, it would be nice if they had something for coming out here. Okay, well that was kind of a bus. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff, so it's not a, a complete bus as far as catching stuff, but in terms of fighting Mr. Mist, uh, it's still not working out. Two protectors. Best stone. Yeah, I guess we got a few good items out of uh, that trip into the distortion. You gotta be some boring Mercros. You could be something cool like Mischievous, but you're Mercros instead.
<laughs> the Stanwares are still out. I'm a little surprised the Stanwares stay out at night. Man, does nothing change up here at night? I guess there's no vault fixes, but that's that hardly seems like a worthwhile change. Okay, I guess the Perugly. Well, I guess it might not have respawned after I caught it though. Lamios. Yeah, I don't think that really helped. I guess there's some cliff sides that we rode past on the other side. And so... Um, checking them out. Like up over here. I think we would have missed this little bit here that... Did you see from here? I think we've been out here at night before. I don't think that's changed much. We haven't really gotten anything other than the Toxic Rooks, and then... I think even the Empoleon still uh, stayed around. So, I guess... See if the Molten Arena has anything? Still make these and stuff. Also, our current team is not great against fire. I guess there's just no ghosts on this island aside from the dead Arcanine Lord. I guess we can catch, uh, check that cave that we couldn't reach before, or at least try to. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to reach it with Sneezewear. Although it may just end up like turn back where we get in there and it's just like... Pixel. Ha! You thought there'd be something in here? Too bad. Ooh, there's a nine tails up here though. 
got to somehow sneak up. Wow, what the camera? we climb up from here? Oh, I guess we could have climbed up from behind, too, from the looks of it. So there's this little lip here. So we technically probably didn't need to fight all that stuff, but we wouldn't have found the Ninetales if it wasn't for this, so. Uh, or... Okay, we can't climb from this side. Question mark? There's nothing interesting over here. Alright, let's go back. Actually, we might be able to climb from here? Uh, that seems a little dubious. <laughs> yeah, the, the game really doesn't want to let me do that. It stops me, like, dead here. I can't go further up. <laughs> Why does this have to be such a pain? Instant release bar. Hitting a rock for super effective. Yes. I mean, if your teeth are icy enough, apparently it works. Oh wait, we're climbing the wrong side.
Yeah, I don't know, it seems like there's no way in, I guess. Because what the map shows and what's actually here is different. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess we got the nine tails, but... Kinda sucks. Actually, I bet I know what it is. Probably need to get the uh, the power of the ice noble, and then we can freeze the lava. At least that'd be my best bet or best guess, since uh, it seems super determined to not let us in. Let's see, um, I guess we'll go back to the highlands? Cause it feels like there's not a whole lot going on here, in terms of, uh, of ghost variants. Not that there's a ton going on in the highlands either, so it's like, I guess we wander, it's another RNG quest. Sixty points. Hmm. Well, we're pretty close to ranking up, at least. <laughs> There's a duskull outbreak. Skull, Psyduck, Electabuzz, Luxio. I find it funny that there's the Luxio outbreak in a place where there's already so much of the Shinx line that it basically might as well not matter. <laughs> A lot of outbreaks on screen. Yes, there are. None of them really interest me. I'd probably have gone back to the, uh, the coastland if they gave me a Vulpix outbreak, but aside from that, eh. Actually, have we ever been in here? Oh, yeah, we have. Because this is where we had to go to find the injured Bronzor. Hmm. I guess it is a different at night. I don't think we've been here at night. Hold on. Uh, this really doesn't look any good. Yeah, no ghosts to be seen. fight any ghosts and yeah, it looks like the bronze arms don't turn in for the night either. Yeah. I don't know 
what she's- I can't remember what she stands with, so... Please, back pain. Oh, it's charm. Okay. I thought it was the other sister. It's kind of hard to tell in the fog. How could I be so careless? I didn't think the day would come when I would be caught with my guard down. Now you face the eldest of the misfortunes. This unlucky charm will ensure you fall in battle. Oh yeah? Well, I got back pain. I think you can have problems with that. Dude, Raiden's not gonna be great for back pain, man. Probably gonna be enough to just explode him. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh. Now, now my dragon is both depressed and sweet. <laughs> Apparently, Drowsy. <laughs> my, my Drowsy Dragon avoided the Hex attack. <laughs> I, I'm not quite sure how that works, but okay. Actually, you know, there's that's awfully low level for the area that we're in. What a disgrace. Hey, Trinity King. Yeah, my rank is at, at the point where uh, my command over Pokemon is unlimited. Kurg! Quite formidable, aren't you? But this was only a test. Now I know more about how you fight and I won't hold that hold back next time. Yeah, sure, that's what you said last time. <laughs> Three fakes of Stardust. It's hardly worth anything at this point. Yeah, the, the 6th and 7th ranks were kind of weird, it's like, oh, by the way, level 85 and level 100. It, it's almost like they're rushing to say, uh, you know, don't worry about having problems commanding them. Onyx is just like, huh, did I, I see some? Eh, nah. Oh, now he's angry. Steelix. Man, how... how are there so few ghost Pokemon out right now? Oh, 
I see an elfic whisker. That's definitely not a ghost, but I guess if I want it. Actually, hmm, I can't remember if we actually got that one already. I want to say no, but... I guess we'll find that. I'm gonna go for it. See, Charm seems awfully out of place, like, roaming around with her level 38 Pokemon when there's 53, like, unevolved, just roaming. Seems like a real dangerous place to be hanging out with uh, such underlevel Pokemon. Not that we didn't do that, but, you know. <laughs> the, the misfortunes seem a lot more cowardly. Respond. I just caught you, like literally 15 seconds ago. serious. <laughs> Shiny Ruffler, your favorite flying type. <laughs> Congrats on the Ruffler. And especially the shininess. Yeah, this reef spawn rate is obnoxious. Just like, come on. I already eliminated you. Do you really need to come back immediately? After Rayquaza and Charizard, you get so you don't associate them with being flying type. Really? Because <laughs> they are very flying. <laughs> it's like they don't want me to catch the alpha. I mean, I'm not quite sure what makes the game do that so much. Because, like, there's certain areas where sometimes they'll just do that continuously. I'm not sure why. It's like the toxic croaks over by the Empoleon were the same. They just respawned over and over and over. Pretty much immediately, I don't understand why. 
Like, is it a broken script, or do they intentionally program it to be as stupid as it is? kind of distracted it away from chasing me too much. How was that not a back attack? Definitely one we didn't have. Ugh. Except now it's morning, so we need to change the time back to night again. <laughs> I guess we see a dragon and fire for this flying second, I guess. You gotta be honest, you say you saved the outbreak, or you saw the outbreak and saved your game, expecting to save scum, but you got it the first go. <laughs> There you go. Although isn't save scumming usually the standard procedure for shiny hunting? <laughs> Most of these games. Is that a- yes, it is a mischievous. Ah, uh, did it run away though? Or is it hiding my clunder? Okay, nice. Thank you. 
Finally, we found it. We done did it. Hmm, this appears to be a mischievous area, too. Man, how did I keep missing this? I went over, like, almost every area around it, but somehow didn't catch the mischievous area. Granted, I guess I wasn't here at night. Because I think this is the stun tank zone during the day. Actually, no, wait. This would be... I think I recognize the way of this terrain. This would be a uh, bronzor area. Gonna ball, like hit him by the cliff, but who cares, I guess. It's always a pain trying to angle it to hit the back from the side. Also, always a pain to go after ghosts because false swipe is just useless against them when it's my primary way of getting them otherwise. Almost looks like a gravestone. Why would you choose that wall?
really? I wasn't even moving. Space time just despawn the this magus. There is basically no grass here. on, but Spawn came in and stole the focus and I was trying to throw the <laughs> thing behind it, of course. I did get the Ramparatus. Not the greatest use of balls, but... Definitely far less than ideal. I found the graveyard before this, but I didn't realize it was a graveyard because I just saw all the bronzers hanging out there and decided not to engage with them. I'm just gonna kill it. No, I guess not. Maybe another Kronidus? Well. This distortion leaves. I'm gonna want to come back and get the Miss Magus. <laughs> I have a grudge now. 
I guess unless the distortion lets her come back, but it's already day, so I think we can respawn immediately. Yep, see, this is this is the area I went, nah, I'm not gonna go any further in, this is just full of bronzers, so the whole area aggroes. I should buy some more ultra rolls. Use the whole bunch there. It's an expensive habit. I guess it offers me a chance to get more Rotom copies, too. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Cause I figured because it turned around it was gonna just instant break out for me. But apparently I caught it just in time. That's so stupid.
finally. Alright, we're done here. Let's go see if those hairstyles are worth it. Hmm, this might... Uh, I don't think we completed enough entries. We might not actually rank up. We finished Glide. Well, we finished Mischievous too, surprisingly. Yeah, we're probably gonna come up like 80 points short. <laughs> oh, no, never mind. 30. 27 tasks complete. What? <laughs> Was it really that many? Alright, well, let's go back, style our hair, and get a promotion. <laughs> All in a day's work, right? Hey there, in the mood for a style change? How about your request? Ooh, did you bring a mischievous to show me? Oh god, where did I place the mischievances? <laughs> there we go. You know, people are afraid of mischievous because of how it apparently wails at night. But getting a good look at it like this really gives me some fresh perspe perspective. Look how it billows and sways and flows. <laughs> Wait, that's it. That's what I'll do. Wow, I just set up some charming hairstyles and an enchanting new palette of colors. <laughs> All thanks to you and Mischievous here. Come by any time and try out my ideas for yourself. Hooray. She has a new request. No, that's not right either. It needs a special extra something, but what? Oh, nice timing as always. I could use your help again coming up with some new hairstyles. I've hit another wall here. Now, I bet I could get inspiration from a different Pokemon this time. A Pokemon like, yeah, Curlia. I can't remember how it looks exactly, but I'm pretty sure it has a real distinct style. If I could study one up uh, nice and close, I bet it'd get me past this block. If you manage to catch a Curlia, bring it here so I can have a look, okay? Man, I like how we've had a Curlia forever, but it was the mischievous that was blocking us from actually unlocking all these. About your request. Oh, did you get that Curlia to show me? And where in the box is the Curlia? <laughs> The world. There we go. Easy. Can you claim the Miss Magius again? Sure. You know, they say Curlia just loves to dance. I kind of get it. That feeling when your hair sways around you while you're dancing, it's the best. Actually, yeah, that's the sort of hairstyle I wanted to go for. Now, how to gather up the hair the right way? And where should it be let down? Hmm. Oh, I've got it. That's what I'll do. Girl, I owe you one. Thanks to you and Curlia, I've got ideas for some new hairstyles. And new colors, like no one's ever seen. Come by any time and try them out for yourself.
I mean... I'd prefer not to organize the boxes. It'd be nice if I could just tell the game, hey look, do it in dex order please, and have it do it. But no. Are you gonna rewind to call the Miss Magius Miss Magician again? Also, I guess, uh, actually, I gotta change my hair and you can put the claim through or the points through. I'll grab it after. Grab yourself a seat. So what'll it be? Let's see, tied back. <laughs> That's cute. Kinda like that one. Shorn no, Shorn we've already seen. Modern Bob. <laughs> I see. Side swept. Yeah, it's cute. Fancy. Actually, I think fancy. Did we have fancy before? I think there might have been. Formal updo. <laughs> I see. Modern short. Going Super Saiyan. <laughs> hmm, I, I like tied back. Although, I don't know how well this is going to go with the, the... Oh. The head kerchief. Because, like, compared to long, it's probably going to look basically the same. Maybe I'll have to swap back to uh, one of the masks. At least I don't have five plus boxes of alphas I have to manage. I, I suppose I've probably got at least two boxes at this point, though. <laughs> Turquoise. That is very green. Ash blonde. Uh, I'm not sure how qual that qualifies as blonde at all, but. Periwinkle. Hmm, I almost like the periwinkle a little more than the boy. Because eh. the periwinkle takes shadows better. Even though the blue. I like the vibrantness, but. Hmm. Uh, it's hard to say. Man, yeah, maybe I'll stick with the regular blue. Yeah, mismatched eyebrows and hair doesn't really work. Alright, well, new hairstyle though. You got it, girl. Here goes nothing. And we're done here. Not a bad look, wouldn't you say? Last thing, hat or no hat? Well, let's see how the kerchief looks. Uh, I mean, I guess it looks a little bit different because of how the stuff hangs out in front. Thanks for coming now.
drop by any again anytime you're here, I'll keep polishing my skills. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be hard to tell from the back there. So maybe we'll swap things up and run the masks for a while. Oh, nice. <laughs> I just noticed that uh, we take our boots off. I can't believe I didn't realize that before the, first, the couple of times we were in here. There we go, we can show off that tied up bob. I think it should fit, cause like, Prestissimo fit. Yeah, that's fine. We do have we do have a problem with slots now though. Let's maybe let's give Girl Boss a bit of a rest for now. We'll we'll rotate them a bit as we go. These are all very hard-hitting moves. <laughs> Do I need to even change anything? I want to say no, not really. Alright, let's go get promoted. Uh, actually, let's see. the farm real quick here. It looks like there's no other request, so we may move on. Is there a limit to how many Pokemon you can claim? Um... No, but there's, uh... I guess as we get more saturated, there's no guarantee. I'll use them continuously, and... Now that we've got more people naming stuff, uh, we're gonna limit the party to one per person. Alright, this better be some good stuff. Sprig of Careful Mint? Oh, this is the... Nature change, I guess. When a Pokemon smells as mint, its special defense will grow more easily, but its special attack will grow more slowly. Wild mint. 
Special attack more easily, but defense will grow more slowly. Special attack up, speed down. Interesting. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do more mints. <laughs> We'll keep those around in case we need them, but I have a feeling we're unlikely to change natures too much. <laughs> hey, good night, Nate. Thanks for watching. Have a good sleep. It's forecasting. Never changing. Yeah, progress to report. I will judge its worthiness. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. For this, you have officially attained the rank of 8th star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use jet balls. <laughs> That sounds dangerous. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now. For these as well, they are further recipes you'll need for crafting. So I guess these are the the gigaton version of the feather ball. Full restores. Oh, nice. Very, very straightforward recipe. Just mix the two things that have the same effects of the, the uh, thing that we'll make. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. I wonder if it's unlocked anything. Looks like probably no. Ranking up didn't actually get us any new requests. I guess we do... we want to complete the ghastly thing. Aside from that, the rest of this is... Uh, stuff we have to actually get the ice lands for. Well, I guess it's stuff for the Seas Legend, but I have no idea what to do with the Seas Legend. <laughs> so, until we get any kind of lead on that, we're probably just gonna ignore it. Secure saw. No. <laughs> you get a lot of protectors looting those things. Razor Fang. Sharpen pointed fang, that seems as though it might be able to. It was straight through anything at all. It's all by assuming Pokemon. Alright. So, I think what we're gonna do... I'm gonna go refill my drink, we'll come back, tackle the ghastly thing. And assuming that doesn't get us more requests, then we'll move on with the story. So I'll be right back.